Hey everybody and welcome to episode 16 of Let's Build Minecraft. <laughs> I love that noise. Um, as you can see, I got a new toy. Uh, this thing, it sucks. <laughs> so, so I told you guys that I found a spawner halfway between my two towns. Uh, let me just throw some of this away. Halfway between my two towns, it was a really good spot. Well, I made a farm out of it, and, and it's nothing fancy. It just, uh, the, the zombies flow up into here. And at first, I had it on a timed crusher. And for whatever reason, it stopped, the timing stopped working. And I don't know why. It was one of those hopper timers. Uh, nothing fell in the hoppers. Nothing changed on uh, repeaters, so I, I don't know what changed, but all of a sudden it stopped working. So I tore it down, and I thought, didn't they add a mechanic to the game where if you hit them, like with a potion or this little swipe thing where you hit all of them, and then they died from environment, once you get experience from that well as you can see that doesn't work so I really don't know what's up with that that could be a bug or maybe I just don't understand that mechanic right but anyways today we are going to hopefully finish whoopsies we're gonna hopefully finish that windmill and it's gonna be a, quite a bit of work by me and it's pretty late here so uh maybe we'll get it done also depends on how long we get going but uh it's been a while since the last episode and uh, let me just turn up my volume a little bit um yeah it's been a while since i had my last episode and uh there's a few reasons for that. The first one is I got a whole bunch of new audio equipment. I'm using the same mic, but I've got a, a new stand and a new shock mount and a pop filter. So hopefully I'm sounding uh, pretty good. But if I do sound a little different, then it's because I'm trying a new setup and I'm still still haven't quite gotten to work. I need to replace this door, but I'm too lazy right now. And I just turned up that volume. Now I'm going to turn it right back down because those are some annoying chickens. Um, so that was that took up a good portion of my week waiting on that stuff to get here, and I couldn't really record in the meantime because of the I was between setups and it just it wasn't working out for me. Uh, and then I got a surprise test here this week, and then I end up spending a few extra days studying. But now, hopefully, I can get back into the groove of it. Uh, what are we here for? I'm here because gray wool anywhere? I swear we have gray wool. Uh, we need gray wool. Actually, yeah, we need gray wool. Or light gray. I'm gonna have to look at the differences between those different colors. But I'm gonna need those for the windmill that we're gonna put up today. Hopefully put up today. Here's gray wool. I like to see what light gray wool is. But I'd need a bone. Do I have a bone? You got a bone. Doesn't look like I have a bone. Um you can't use quartz as white dye, right? Like, it's only bone meal. Um, too bad that the zombie spawner wasn't a skeleton spawner. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna maybe have to use gray, and that's fine. This gray isn't super dark. That'll work out. I would use white, but I'm not a huge fan. Oh, I need shears. Let's grab... Oh, we have iron. Let's grab these. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I would use white wool, but it has, the white wool in this texture pack has that uh, brown 
trim on it and it it's not really ideal um i'm gonna need to find bone meal somewhere before i die all of these guys and then i'll get right back to you Alrighty, i went back to uh the farm town it's not really much of a town yet is it i grabbed these five bones let's see Okay, so that's gonna give us twenty. That's a pretty good deal. Now light gray, is that hmm I'm gonna get one of these to see what the difference is first. Uh you Okay, so light gray also has those uh brown bands on them, so I don't want that. So let's jump in there and dye as many of them as we can. We might even get all of them. Please, thank you. Eh. Um, one left over, goodbye. You are unneeded. Oh no, I forgot you. Oh well. All right, so I'm figuring that this is gonna take me about two stacks of wool to complete this project um let's see i've built this t uh the windmill out in creative i'm trying to do the math in my head it should be about two stacks maybe a little bit more um so i might have to let these guys eat some grass for a little bit where is my fence there we go so uh, while we wait for that, uh, if you guys haven't seen, I put up a new detail tutorial for those boats that we have in that town over there. It's a really simple tutorial, but it's it's something that I thought that I'd put up just in case somebody wanted a design for a uh, simple and realistic uh, small boat. So I'm going to wait out these sheep to get eaten. I'm going to go to bed. And then we'll be back and hopefully get our uh, wool that we need. I'm back at the windmill here, and I can't remember if I showed you guys this before. If you uh, if you saw my channel update video a few days ago, you saw this. But I did do walls, and uh, this isn't all grown, so you can't really see what it looks like when everything is nice and golden like this. But here's how I did the walls, just kind of cobblestone stone and brick mixed up in there with walls and different kinds of slabs on top makes it look like it's broken up i have like one tall sections here here's a two tall section uh when did that get trampled let me show you what it looks like from up here uh i th i don't think i showed you guys this but yeah this is quite a bit of wheat that section right down there is about a stack of hay bales, I think. And I'm not going to bother collecting this stuff up here because this is more of an irregular shape. So this stuff's kind of more of a pain in the butt to plant. But anyways, we are back. Let's see. What do we need? Definitely not that. We're not going to be building with shears. Um, Let's see. I want a way to get up here and we are gonna go up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven actually let's get rid of that right here and i have a uh, picture next to me of what this is supposed to look like but i went 11 up and we're going to make another thing just like this, except it's going to be a smaller roof. It's not going to... Let's see. I think these go down another half slab. It's not going to stick out as much, but it is going to add a good bit of character. So I'm going to work on this. And then you're going to see what it looks like 
And hopefully I don't fall because I do not have feather falling. And of course it's nighttime. Um, I don't want to risk it. I can make this though, right? Yeah. Something to uh, note in case any of you lost those. In case any of you are building this along with me. Above this roof section, we are going to bring in these uh, corners right here. I'm going to bring these in one block so that the uh, the next section of this windmill is going to look like it uh, narrows. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to figure out what needs to be done. I think this needs to come in right there. And that might stay, but I'm not sure. I actually decided on doing it like this. So these corner ones are going to be on the same height as these ones on the outside. Down there we had these ones up one higher. But instead, it's going to be... What did I just say? This needs to be moved. It's going to be like that right yeah that wasn't so bad uh let me just give you a look at how i did it and i think this is going to be my final design i might bring this out one more on the corners but let's look at this down there and get rid of some of this dirt make sure that i didn't leave any up there because i had placed a lot of dirt to get those slabs up there uh, there we go. Collect all my valuable dirt. You know, you always think dirt. Yeah, you, you always have way more dirt than you're ever going to need in Minecraft. But that's not true when you start terraforming and you want a hill to look a certain way or something. That takes up a lot of dirt. And I did miss one. And these are going to have to come out one. Just looking at it, it's. A little bit wimpy. Here's how I'm fixing these uh, corners. I guess they're kind of corners. I've done the other three, so I just figured that I'd show you exactly how I'm fixing these. So let's jump down again. Make sure that what we have is what we want, and that's much better now. So you can tell, top part. Not as big as this part. That's how I want it. This is going to extend, get extended a little bit. And then the windmill is going to come out from right around there. And it's going to be really big. So how about I jump up there and we get started on the windmill section. Okay, so this is where everything kind of starts to come together. We are on the top of the uh, second rim roof thing. We are on the fourth block up with three oak blocks here. And we are going to start it like this. And I'll show you exactly what I'm working towards here. Now remember we have that uh, mm, shaft, I guess you would call it, that's connected to that flour mill or stone mill or whatever down there. Well, this is what would connect to that. So we're going to have to think of something for the interior to make it look like uh, these two are connected. But we're going to bring these out seven. Uh, let's just do the bottom row first. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Then we can match that on all four of these. Try not to fall off because I will die from here. Actually, I might hit that water. <laughs> okay, here comes the dangerous part. You can really tell how low my render distance is right now, but I don't care. If I get a little bit of a uh, leg and fall off and die, I do have my spawn set right there. And I don't have that many levels, but... I'm going to say no thanks to that. So what we're going to need, uh, let's start with right there. Nope, nope, nope. I already screwed it up. One in, spruce wood. 
get your wood on your or get your dirt on your hot bar because we're gonna need it. We're gonna go in a diagonal 13 blocks. So one, two, three, like that for 13 blocks. Alright, I hope that I didn't lose count while I was doing that, but let's get back here and take a good look at that. Yeah, that's about the size of our wing that we're going to be working with. And now, yeah, I start with 56. So when we're done, if I don't lose any of these blocks, either these planks or these fence, I think that I should have two of each left. But let's get up at the top for this next part and place a spruce fence on each of them. Do I have room to back up? I do. That was a little too close. I would have trampled a crop. Um, okay, so I did take up 13. So now the actual blade. And if I can get up there, I'll show you. We're not just putting one on top. We're actually going to do a... Uh, I guess technically it's going to be two on top, but let's get up there. Let me look at my reference really quick. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it, I think. One on top of there and pull it out. One on top of there, pulled out. So really, really it is two on top. But you can just think of it as pulling it out two and trying not to die after we do this one uh fan i don't know if you want to call it a blade would you call these things blades i know for like the actual wind farms you i think you call those blades there's a lot of those like where i grew up those big ones that utilize wind for energy and that's going to be the shape of that so we can stand back again and let's actually get down on the floor or rather the ground uh, and then we can get a good idea of how big it's going to be so that actually <laughs> doesn't give you a good idea of how big it's going to be at all because of the direction that's going. Once we have one going like this, then I think you have a better idea. But this is a really weird, weird one to start off on. So that didn't really give us a good idea of it. So I'm gonna do this, and that's gonna be like the focal point of our windmill here. Actually, I do wanna show this part on camera. To build this, I'm gonna have to there. Is like surgery and we're gonna have to start with these so this is a little different uh, I already lost track of how many we're at okay I got this other one made up huh that should have wool two pieces of wool right there I'll fix it on my own, but it looks really weird this way. But now I'm trying to think, how in the world am I going to make the ones going down? Oh, uh, man. This is actually pretty tough. I can get these ones. Don't fall. All right, so I've got four on that side, three on that side. I can't reach any lower. I might just have to pillar up with dirt from down there. Let me just chop down my uh, pillar staircase that I'm working on, or my dirt pillar to heaven here. This is how many times I've pillared up and not taken it down, and it's a big old eyesore. There we go. Okay, so let's start on this one. All right, I got those placed. Missed a block. 
I got those placed by kind of just pillaring up and going back and forth. Um, now when we do wool, we're going to need to start it like... Is that where we're going to need the first one? Yeah, diagonal. Diagonal. Um, <laughs> diagonal. Diagonally. I can't... I don't know how to word... I feel like every time that I say that word, I say it wrong. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull up again and put wool on like this. Going up was actually a little bit easier because I could actually go to the side without having to... Uh, hello? I'm going to have to re-log, I think, because... I'm pretty sure there's going to be a dirt block up there next time that I play this game. And there it is. Now we can get a bit of a better feel of how big it's going to be. That's really cool, isn't it? I really like this design. I originally made it going up and down with only one thin piece of wool. And I liked it because of how long and thin it was. It just had a certain fantasy look to it. But I was building it on a server, a creative server, and everybody hated it. So I changed it, and I got this, and I actually do like this. <laughs> you know, if I do fall, hay reduces fall damage. Unfortunately, I don't have hay down there. Uh, I do plan on putting, like, full blocks of hay down there for decoration, but right now... All my hay resources are going towards stuff like that. But anyways, I'm actually finishing up the windmill. I went up there and I did forget one uh, one block. I counted wrong. I only had 12 instead of 13. So I went up and fixed that. But other than that, this is the last fan. Let's knock that out. Um, nope. I, I tried to make it on top of there, but uh, clearly my parkour skills are lacking just a little bit, and that's why you probably won't ever see me doing a parkour video. <clears throat> uh, we can keep those because we are not done up there. Let's just stand back. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I feel like I screwed that up. Okay, so I need to fix that, add two more wool right there. Um, other than that, so just get a feel. Like when we're walking around, uh, HUD off. You're walking around these, oh, these grew in by the way, so you can get an idea of how this is supposed to look when everything's grown in. And you see that, that's cool. I'm really happy with this. And then we're not done because the top of that is not built yet. So let me fix that. And then I'll build that top and then get back to you. I am never going to build with half slabs like this again. Never. Ah. <sighs> I'm short. No, I'm not. I was thinking that I was short on materials. But no. What? He's almost done. Uh, Knock this out. Oh, gosh. Not that. Actually, put that there. This is going to have to go there. Um, I'm going to put that there so I have something to place that against. Do that on these two, and it's done. I'm going to clear the dirt pillars. I'm going to step back, and you're all going to see the final product other than the interior. Not worried about that right now. All right, so on the top, I capped off the roof. You can see the pattern that I used right here. Nothing too fancy. And then I brought up some pillars. And made it sort of like a lighthouse. So it's like a lighthouse 
windmill stone mill hybrid. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get down here. Uh, oh, I almost fell. Oh, hello, leg. There, there, done. It's done. The outside is done, and I bet you're dying to see it. Maybe, maybe not. There it is. Let me get a look. I think I'm going to go into creative here and fly around it. It's nighttime. Oh, that's cool. All right. So if you've been following along, then you've seen all this come to fruition. Uh, is it cheaty to do time set zero? Let's just, for the sake, can you sleep while it's creative? No. For the sake of survival mode, I will sleep, and, and then I will get back up in the sky. All right. So, what I really like about this, the bottom is very... It's not really ornate, but it's busy. It draws your attention. You see that opening, you're like, what's that? You want to go in there. And then this. This grabs your attention. Now, this right here, it's plain. Maybe once we do the stairs inside and everything, then we can worry about that, worry about windows placement for that. But it doesn't draw attention away from this. And away from this, I really like this corner over here where we have hay stashed away. I think it's a really good uh, combination of plain faces and things that get your attention. And, uh, you know, you have you go and see, like, uh, is it Hypixel or, or some of those, like, big build groups? <laughs> you can see that tree that I... I needed just a little bit of wood, but I didn't want to take down the whole tree. Uh, those, you know, big build groups, and they just put a ton of detail into everything. You don't need to do that. You can get away with flat walls. I mean, this isn't flat. This pillar right here, that adds dimension. That adds different texture, adds support. Uh, then these roofs here, they break it up. But you don't need everything to be so intricate and alternating blocks and everything. Um, I think this is a pretty good example of that. Let's see if I can get a good screenshot. Oh, yeah, with the uh, wheat field. Let's turn on my render distance. 20 chunks. Uh, chunks do load in pretty slow in this 1.9. That's, that's not too slow. I know some people are having huge chunk loading problems, and I'm not fortunately having them too bad do we want to have a view like this just get a few screenshots this will be my thumbnail you guys can see how i do it then when optifine and uh shaders come out then i can start having really fancy thumbnails um but yeah it's finally done um, I've been working on this. Let's see, when we started, we didn't have anything other than wall from here on up. And I've been building for about an hour and a half, and I'm really proud of what I made. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. So, anyways, that's going to be the end of that. If you enjoyed watching the three-part series of me making this windmill, and you want to you wanna stick around for whatever my next project would be. If you have any uh, suggestions of what I can do around here, I'll gladly listen to them. But um, if you like this, and leave a like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.